Hey, woke up so excited this morning when I saw the new ChatGPT 4.0 announcement. Hey, so this is the announcement from, from OpenAI. Some cool stuff in here. Lower price point, um, it's fine tunable, and some other cool features. Um, some pretty cool stats, and it seems to perform pretty well. So we thought we'd take it for a test drive. So let's look at ChatGPT 4.0 versus ChatGPT 4.0 Mini. Um, the context that we're going to use is Buzzy is an AI powered no code platform. We take a prompt, we turn it into an app definition, we have some code, and then we can turn it into native apps, Android, iOS, as well as web apps. We also can take a Figma file and turn that into a working application as well. We can also take the application that was created and turn it back into a Figma file. So that's just a bit of background. Now, we're going to run it through some quick tests. So what I did is I created a simple CRM application with a very simple prompt. So over here, it's got customers, notes, some information about customers, and so on. Um, this creates a full stack application, all the data models, the designs, and everything. This is the application. Um, so here we're in the details of one customer. We can add notes to them. You can see there's a bunch of customers. Pretty simple. So let's have a look at how that fared. So with GPT-4.0, it took about 50 seconds to create the application. Mini took about 55. Now, it's non-deterministic. I expect them to be roughly about the same. Some areas were faster with, with Mini, some were a bit slower, and, and, uh, and so on. For example, generating the data model, we currently have to use 3.5 because it's fine-tuned. GPT-4, we've got the beta for that. It's extremely expensive and cost prohibitive for us to be able to use it. So Mini's ability to be fine-tunable is an absolute game-changer for us, and I'll talk about that in, in a bit. Um, to generate the app designs and generate the dummy data. So roughly on par. Now, one of the things we noticed with the, generating the dummy data is GPT-4.0 Mini got the relationships wrong. So definitely, we're going to need to be able to fine tune that. But the cool thing is what we've got planned is new features that are on the way very shortly. So at the moment, if you create an application, for example, stock portfolio app on the left, it might look something like this. And you can edit everything in um, you, either using AI or you can actually go into Figma and make the changes. So it's going to take some time, skill, and effort to get from what's on the left to what's on the right. Now, we've saved you tons of time and effort. You've only done this in a matter of minutes. Um, it might have taken you weeks or months to develop this application using traditional methods. That said, FlexiBuild, our new functionality, is going to be able to do that in a matter of seconds. What might take you maybe hours over here will be able to be done in literally in um, seconds and minutes. So that's going to be an absolute game changer. Um, that, the, next, the other feature that we're going to be releasing is this auto markup. So we'll be able to take any Figma file and mark it up. At the moment, if you take a Figma file, you have to use our plugin and mark up. You know, that's a screen, that's a form, that's a field, and so on. Still a lot quicker than going through the development process because we skip over that whole you know, Figma file design to dev handover and get something working immediately. So it's an absolute game changer from that point of view. But the ability to do this in a matter of minutes, what might take you hours or days to be able to mark up a massive application is going to be an absolute game changer. Now, both of these features take a ton of tokens. So the reduction in cost, the ability, the, the changing of the, the, um, the output token window and that, absolute game changers for us. So that means that we'll probably move to GPT-4 Mini as soon as possible. So those key features are it's fine-tunable, um, absolute game changer, required for us to be able to use it. Otherwise, the output that we're getting for those app definitions is just completely wrong. And we're even seeing that with GPT-4 and 4.0, we can't use them. We've got to go back to the fine-tunable 3.5 version. So bringing that to the GPT-4 Mini side of things, absolute game changer. The cost... We were sort of going, how are we going to provide this capability? Because we just, in that new capability, the FlexiBuild and Auto Layout, the number of tokens has gone through the roof. And that costs a lot of money. So we're going, well, how are we going to provide this to customers? Reducing the price probably means that we're going to allow you to use that for free for a certain amount of time and give it a try before you go into uh, you know, a paid plan. So that's an absolute game changer for us as well to let you try this functionality and we can get feedback and so on. The other key thing is the output context um, window size. So GPT-4.0 had a 4K output um, window context size. GPT-4.0 Mini has 16K. We were really struggling with that 4K and we've been trying to optimize it and we're right at that boundary level. So going to 16K, thank you so much OpenAI for all these features, the window size, the cost, and the fine tunability. Can't wait to show you um, 
and we've got these new features hitting the road. Subscribe to our channel, please, and look forward to hearing you trying our software and giving us some feedback. You can go try it today. Go for it. Thanks.